Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. We are on day nine of my carnivore diet. And one of the things that has helped me with snack cravings at nighttime when we're watching TV or a movie is bacon chips. And uh, I believe they were invented by Dr. Ken Berry and his wife, Nisha. And uh, I think it's on Nisha's channel. And how they cook it is a big pot with tall angles on it. So uh, this way it makes nice, super crispy bacon. And I'll take you through the steps and I uh, hope you enjoy this video. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. So what we're gonna need is a pound of bacon. I definitely wanna try this one time with two pounds of bacon uh, because this will last me like three snack times when I cut it into thirds cook it all up. I put the, the cooked bacon onto a scale and it usually runs up about, about, I think two to three ounces and it's about 300 calories for that snack. Uh, but again, it totally satiates me uh, and gets me through those moments uh, of weakness, let's call it. So let's open this up. So that's why I wanna eventually try this with two pounds to see how well it works. I just don't know if it's gonna crowd the pot so I cut off your edges. I just open it up. And I've got all this stuff out here so I don't forget anything to show you. Did you do the wiggle before you... Oh, I didn't do the wiggle. So there's a thing where you can roll it up before you open it up. Well, you can still do it a little bit. I guess so. Let's give it a shot. Carol's reminding me of stuff. So what you do is you roll it. Oh my gosh, I haven't done it like this. Well, it's half open. And you do it this way and you squish it up before you open it. Uh, it kind of like makes the bacon slide apart from each other. So it makes it easier to pull apart. So then your opener up, see how it's already separating, which is great. Then you get a sharp knife. I forgot to uh, bring my little cloth over to wipe as I go. There we go. Super sharp knife and then cut it into thirds. Mm, the other night I did it into quarters. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna say Carol tried it and uh, I told her the thing I learned, which is when it starts to get to the cooking point, it really gets to the cooking point really fast. So I'm gonna turn this on. I've got my microphone on this time, so I'd love to get some feedback from you guys. The last video we did, we had this on. It's on only on one, but it's still loud. Let's get this going. But I'd love to get some feedback from you guys. Put it on high, get that up to temperature. You don't have to put anything in it as the bacon starts to render down, um, uh, it'll create its own juices and stuff. And then as those, all that water and stuff starts to evaporate, uh, then it starts to cook really fast and you gotta kind of keep your eye on it. I think this takes about 15, 20 minutes. As soon as I put them in, we'll uh, start the timer. And then at the end, we'll uh, do the clarifying of the fat. Uh, and then I'll show you what that looks like at the end. Uh, and that's a super tip for you guys who like to cook with bacon fat. So that's probably hot enough. Let's grab our yummy bacon. And this is Costco bacon. I think it's $18.99 for four packs of these in Canadian dollars. So let me know in other parts of the world how much your bacon is. They do cure this with salt and sugar, but most of that stuff is washed off before. So it does contain sugar, but it's not like it's packed with sugar. So. And you can buy, oh, there we go. You can buy bacon without sugar in it, but uh, I don't know how much more money that would be. So this, Dr. Ken Berry said, it's probably best if you pull them apart like this, just to make sure. And Carol discovered that too, that she just threw it in like this. And then uh, I think they stuck together, didn't they? So, you might be able to see at the bottom that it's starting to liquefy. So let's put the rest of this bacon in. So it's four minutes past one. We'll see how long this takes. And again, the best thing about this is you just put the cover on. No splatter mess. Done. No noise. It's gonna wash my hands once again. All right, we're at uh, six minutes after one o'clock in the afternoon. So we are going to give it a stir. I'm gonna probably stir it every two minutes. Whoops. Okay. 
So another thing is pork rinds. A lot of people love pork rinds when they're hanging out watching TV and they're just looking for that little bit of a snack. But I love these. These are fantastic. So we'll wait another two minutes. Let that render down a little bit more. All right, we're at nine minutes after. Let's open her up, get that steam going. Start to move this stuff around. I'm also scraping the bottom of the pot. Get all those nice little bits of bacon off. They're really starting to render nicely. I hope you guys give this a shot, man. It's so easy and there's hardly any mess on your stove. A few little spatters get out of here. We'll come back in two minutes. So we are at 12 minutes after, which is about seven minutes cooking time. I looked in and some of the pieces are definitely where I want them to be. I'm gonna turn the stove down so I get less spatter. Don't wanna burn my, fing my wife's fingers with that camera. She's doing a great job. Okay, so there are a lot of pieces in here that I can take out and that'll make room for other pieces. So I'm gonna get my little container, reach in, start grabbing little pieces, throw them on my paper towel. Anything I think is as done as I want it to be. This one definitely, holy, yeah. There's another one. Pretty much anything lying on that bottom. I don't mind a little bit, oh, sorry. I don't mind a little bit of the chewy fat. So again, this is where it really starts to, look at that, I don't, like some of these pieces are rendering really fast. Again, just watch your hand, guys. If you see a piece, just flip her over that you think needs to be cooked a little bit more. These ones, these ones are fun to eat because they turn into like a, almost like a bacon popcorn, I guess you could call it. Again, I'm just waiting for them to cook up some more. There's another juicy one, crispy one. They will crisp up as they uh, cool down. Wow, that's that's a crispy one right there. That one's stuck to another one. So we're at nine minutes at the, at the uh, we're 14 minutes after now. Oh, look at that crispy one. Yikes. So at this moment in time, they are like almost like deep frying in that fat. Ooh, I saw that spatter coming up. And I am going to turn a few of them over. Carol's being very smart and, and hovering up high. Hey, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna turn the stove off. Cause this is gonna stay hot for a while. All right, I don't need the tongs anymore. I'm just gonna let them sit for a minute. I'm gonna let this cool down for a minute. Let the fan take it out. And I'll be right back for a taste test and then show you how I'm gonna clarify this uh, fat for you. Look at those amazing bacon chips. They look fantastic. I can't wait to eat them tonight. Sometimes I warm them up, sometimes I eat them cold. Uh, again, it's up to you, your preference on your bacon. If you really like your bacon to be hot or warm, then throw it in the microwave for like 30 seconds maybe, or however long you want it to be. But what I'll do is I'll show you what I do with my amazing little scale. So get the bowl you want to use, throw it on your scale first, hit power, it should zero. There we go. And then what I do is, uh, I threw my tongs in there already, but uh, just keep adding until you get up to your desired amount of calories that you want. And again, I know that two ounces of chips is 300 calories. So I just keep adding it until I get to my three, sorry, into my two ounces and probably one more, boom, two ounces. And I've got my snack for later on. Again, if you're, if you're watching your calories even more then do less, like do one and a half 
ounces. That's that's a, a really good snack to have. Time to give these a shot. I'm going to grab this one. This one looks like the crispiest out of the, the bunch. Again, the other ones will get crispier as they cool down. Let's, let's listen to this one. Nice and crispy. I like both. Crispy and chewy at the same time. That's why I'm glad I took some of these off when I did. So this one's still going to be a little more chewier. This one's got some crispiness on the side. Yep. Crispy and chewy. Mmm. That one's solid. This totally satiates me. It um, curves my appetite for chips and pop and stuff like that. I try to eat them as slowly as I can. So they last longer while I'm watching the movie. And I'm glad, I'm very glad that I saw that video of Dr. Ken Barry and his wife Nisha making those. So thank you very much for making that video. Now for the clarified bacon fat, we are going to get our pot holders. It should be cooled down enough to pour it in here. So I'm just going to scrape all this lovely bacon fat and all the little bits. Make sure it's all on one side of my pot or yeah, pot before we dump it in here. So here we go. I think it's still too hot. Woo. Here we go. So all the big bits stayed in the pot, which is fine. Just as the furnace comes on. So there is your bacon fat. What we're going to do is we are going to add water to that. So hang on. Got a cup of water or a couple cups of water. We'll just keep pouring it in until it's almost full, maybe about there. Then I'm going to cap it, lid it. Put it on nice and tight, shake it. And then what I do, if you, if you put it in the fridge like that, it'll separate and it'll all be right in the middle of the cup. So I've learned to fill it right up to the very top. And that way there won't be an air pocket in there. Put it on nice and tight. I'm gonna put it upside down like that inside the fridge. And all that fat will all settle to the bottom or to the top at this moment, but it's in the bottom of the jar. And then what you'll be left with tomorrow or when it cools right down is beautiful clarified bacon fat. Let me see if we can take that top off. We've already used it a bit, a few times for cooking eggs and things. And uh, some, I think some people keep this out on the counter. I don't, I'm not sure if it goes bad on the counter. Please let me know in the comments below if you know more about bacon fat, uh, clarified bacon fat. Can you leave it on the counter? I think you can. Um, but I'm thinking maybe the people that like pour their bacon fat out that they're going to throw out later, they'll have that bacon jar on their thing. So I'm getting confused as of that. So this will become this and we'll be able to make super tasty eggs and other fun little recipes uh, adding the bacon fat so thank you very much for watching guys i really appreciate you guys stopping by please give bacon chips a go thanks to carol for videotaping this uh, but again if you're trying to not eat chips and drink pop and stuff at nighttime, trying to curb your appetite bacon chips is the answer once again thanks to uh, dr barry and his wife mmm so good